watch and learn Polly. I'm getting serious right now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and sorry. <laughs> oh, you two are so cool. <laughs> tell us as part of the end of this workshop, right, is we want to hear from you. Uh, who did the best today? Of Honey, if it ain't stroke, don't fix it, yeah? Yep. Well, so on our way home today, I figured that we could stop by and do this jaw-dropping surprise okay. activity. As you know, I never leave any tone unturned. So what are we doing today? We're doing a calligraphy class. And at the end of the class, our instructor will decide who I did like, the best. I like. Lucy will get a punishment from the Wheel of Punishment. Nice, All right, nice, nice. Let's go. Woo! So before we get started, what is calligraphy? The word calligraphy comes from the ancient Greek words beauty and to write. It is basically the design and execution of lettering with a pen, ink brush or similar writing instrument in a beautiful way. Calligraphy has strong traditional roots in all parts of the world, be it Asia, Africa, the Americas, Europe, the Islamic world and more, and especially so before the invention of the printing press from the 15th century onward. However, the rise of printing did not mean the end of calligraphy, and especially from the 19th century onward, has really been marked by a modern revival of calligraphy, and it continues to flourish in the forms of wedding and event invitations, font designs and typography, hand lettered logo designs, religious art, stone inscriptions, memorial documents and more. And so today we're learning some modern calligraphy at Hey June Studios with our fabulous instructor, calligrapher and illustration artist Jun Yang. Okay, so now with the basics out of the way, let's see how it goes with us learning this skill and importantly, see who becomes the loser that has to receive a punishment at the end. Okay. And when you take this off, you can open the blank and then put the nib in the curved area. The curved area. Okay, yeah, put it in that curved area. So the okay. position would be like, the upper area is shorter. Uh -huh. And your poly. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, so. And then the lower area is a little bit longer. Uh -huh. Like this position. Okay. Thank you. Good so All the way from this side. And just all the way in. I'll just put it directly in there like that. After learning how to assemble the pen properly and the basics of how an ink pen is structured, we then learn some other useful tips and tricks, such as how you should hold the pen while drawing. With a curved line, so first the thumb and the second finger, middle finger here, and then middle finger at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So when you hold the pen like this, it becomes 45 degrees. Mm. Yeah, naturally it becomes 45 degrees, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can try upper stroke with a thin pressure, very light pressure of stroke. And when you go down, you can press a little bit. So that yeah, it creates a thick line. Mm -hmm. Mm. So this is how we create a theme and thick. We learned that you should hold the pen at a 10 to 30 degree angle and place the paper in front of you at about a 45 degree angle. Supposedly, this little trick helps you write the words more smoothly with neater lines. Is it enough? Yeah, yeah. It's about that whole thing, right? Okay. You know you could have drawn on top of it, right? Yeah, oh, actually you can taste oh. <laughs> That's kind of like the point of why we're starting okay. like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the point is just, just... She might be better at me in drawing, but brains... Mm. Mm. <laughs> Alright, let me try as well. You can do my... Do you want to do my free writing? I'm free no. writing F now? <laughs> I find so close <laughs> to the other one. <laughs> I know this trick. Okay. And actually, has some numbers and the arrow for you. You can follow the arrows already. But um, when you 
don't have the arrow, I hope that you can still write it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Because actually when we find that, there are some priorities. Mm -hmm. Which lines go first when you can see a horizontal oval? That is the oval, the mm -hmm. stroke from right to left. Mm -hmm. And inside the stroke, you can find an oval there. This is what we call horizontal oval. Mm -hmm. when, you see, when you see this stroke, you go first, like the E. You can see this stroke mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we apply this stroke first. But what's your learn, Polly? I'm getting serious right now. Oh. <laughs> that looks nice, really nice. Doing a return <laughs> <laughs> painting? <laughs> it wasn't. I wasn't happy with the first. Towards the end of the class, we had our final competition. So our instructor Jun let us choose between a mug bolster or a keychain to write our names on, and using the skills we had learned in today's session. Polly picked a keychain, and I picked the other item. And then it was time for Jun to reveal the winner and the loser. Uh, who did the best today? Of course, Polly! Oh, of course! Oh, this one is free hand! Yay! Thank you, Jude! Thank you so much, I love it! I love it! You did well too? Yeah, but I was not free free riding. Free riding. Too advanced for Polly. Thank you, you helped me a lot. Thank you so much. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. So beautiful. Although I lost, we are very grateful for this fun experience offered by June in her studio. Time really flew by quickly and we both feel we learned a lot. Should you want to check out her calligraphy workshops or some of her other painting and illustration workshops, check out the links in the description. Now though, off to the Wheel of Punishment. Wheel of Punishment! Okay, I'm sorry you have to see this. Screw you, Polly. I'm not listening again. What do we do with this punishment? Oh, some of the punishments are at least good. They make us work out or do something positive for society. Why do we have eggs? Oh, doesn't help anyone. Okay, I'm winning next challenge. <laughs>